I am the Technical Assistance Coordinator at UC PRISM, and assisting me is Larissa Williams, who is a wonderful uh, consultant with our group. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about um, our UC PRISM Technical Assistance offering and how it kind of relates to the website. Just a brief um, intro. So we work directly with early childhood programs, um, anyone in the sector really, but we provide individualized consulting services in the areas of program design, implementation, evaluation, and scaling. We have worked with um, groups across the US, but also we've also worked with international groups. And um, the main service area or areas of work that our clients come from are community-based programs, government policy-based programs, philanthropic and community funders, social entrepreneurs, healthcare and hospital settings. But really we've run the gamut of anyone that ha is involved in early childhood um, in, in the sector. So we have four main um, engagement types for technical assistance, otherwise known as TA. Um, so the one through the website, which is called our light touch, that is um, when we go to the website and you see the, the um, down at the bottom, it'll say request consultation, and I'll be showing you that here shortly. But you can get up to three free hours uh, with our consultants around the selection and use of measures. And it, that is free thanks to our wonderful impact funders. And so that is kind of the quickest and uh, entry point with our technical assistance. Our other service offerings, uh, standard TA, intensive TA, and fee-for-service TA, um, that is a little bit uh, different. So our standard um, TA engagement, that's a six to eight week engagement. So that's really kind of, if you have a specific area of focus, for instance, you know, I just launched a new training with my facilitators and I really like to evaluate that, or um, I, I wanna find a measure that best evaluate my facilitators. And so that's a great example. And so, um, that's one one way, but also this is a really ideal fit for clients who have limited capacity. They might not have enough staff time. Um, they only have a certain period of time that they have funding um, or, you know, not enough resources at the moment. So those those are other kind of reasons a standard engagement might be a better fit. Um, and it's through this process. It's a, you know, our standard services really kind of help us crystallize and really refine um, the your needs and um, kind of under the scope of your needs and we kind of get to a really good point place in our process where you really have a clear idea about what 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 you're what you're trying to answer and what you're moving forward with. And that's something that can be funded either by philanthropic funders or a fee-for-service contract. Our intense service offering, which is um, usually funded by philanthropic or community groups who want us to work with their uh, fundees as part of their portfolio. Um, and so this is anything that's beyond eight weeks. Um, this is kind of anything identification, completion, or assistance related to the contract goals with the funders who are funding that work. Um, this is usually clients with a longer capacity, so they have staff that can have time, um, they've got uh, resources, they have, you know, <laughs> they're not, you know, currently trying to do 50 million other things, they got a little bit more time. Um, and so it's also a good fit if, you know, you've got limited resources or limited expertise in the areas of measure and evaluation this is more of an in-depth process. We do to definitely touch on the stuff we do in standard, but in a little bit beyond. And then our fee-for-service, it's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, you're contracting with us. We've co-identified a scope of work in the areas of valuation, implementation, design, or scaling. And we're, you know, we're working together for however long we're contracted to work together. So again, just calling back to that light touch, that's kind of a direct link to our impact website currently. Um, and so we will be talking a little bit about that further. Quick overview of some of the key things of part of our framework is precision, continuous improvement, co-creation, collaboration. So precision, of course, like who is your program working for and how is it working? And then how, and then precision also in how do you precisely measure and evaluate that? Continuous improvement. So like what are other approaches that you can take to make, like make sure that your program is being as impactful as it can be? So ongoing testing, feedback, and development. So it's not just like I'm going to do one RCT and that's it. It's like, how, how, how else can I continue to be improved and, and measure my impact? Co-creation, again, that's really important part of our process. How do we make sure all stakeholders are at the table and we're really co-creating something um, together in that so it's going to make our program the most impactful. Collaboration, of course, impact is one great example of that. We really want to make sure that everyone is having shared experiences, shared communication, um, and shared measurement in, in areas that that makes sense. So main makeups of our TA services, so learning modules. So these are, 
individualized or um, general lessons and activities that support organizations in the development, implementation, and evaluation of their program. Direct consultation, you work with our wonderful staff who um, work with you one-on-one -on -one and whatever, you, whatever area you may need in measurement evaluation. And of course, measurement and evaluation tools, our impact uh, website is a great example of that. Um, it's, you know, uh, but we also have other tools. So data analysis tools, standard, uh, standardization approaches or implementation. Um, we have been crafting tools to help um, support organizations in the best of, uh, to better be able to navigate the evaluation and measurement space. So our TA process, step one, we really level set. So we're going to share with you what our what our mindset is on measurement evaluation. Um, and then once we feel like we're, we're, we're speaking the same language, move on and we're like, okay, what is the why? What are you really, what are you trying to accomplish in your organization? What's the root that you're, you're really trying to address? And then we go through a process to rediscover. So let's really examine who your program works for and who it doesn't. And in that process, we're really unlock what's the program secret sauce? What's the thing that you are, you're doing that nobody else is doing? And it's really causing a lot of impact. And from there we say, okay, well, how do we measure and evaluate that secret sauce. And so we help you in that planning process. So what's your implementation plan? What's your measurement plan? What's your evaluation plan? And then we can also help in the areas of testing. So how are you gonna ex ex execute this plan and what sorts of data collection are you gonna be doing? And if, you know, we help scale that with our folks. And hopefully after we get through that testing phase, we're going back and making this an iterative process and saying, all right, how do we rediscover again? Okay, now what do we know about our program um, after having done so? having done this process. So some examples of the types of assistance we've provided. So survey design and development, data management, survey participation, articulating impact of uh, funders and stakeholders, measure identification, selection and adaptation, strategies for scaling, standard work processes, developing fidelity tools, gaps in program materials, identifying appropriate research questions, stakeholder analysis, and so much more. Um, really kind of like uh, having worked with so many organizations, um, it's you kind of run the gamut of anything that involves measurement and evaluation. We've probably been there and done some sort of assistance around it. Just want to give you an example. So um, going back to that TA process, kind of like what something that we might do to get to the discovery of your secret sauce, we use something called the theory of impact. Um, and so this is an example from Brooklyn Public Library. They had a Brady Babies program. So it's like, what are your strategies, right? So implementing a one hour story time, modeling early literacy, facilitating op open play time. And what are those targets? So they're really targeting caregivers and but specifically they wanna increase their awareness and use of early literacy practice. Um, and they wanna increase knowledge of parent support and wellness techniques. For children, they just wanna increase their engagement in brainy baby activities. And then they kind of down outcome. So, at two different levels. At the caregiver uh, level, they want to increase regular use of early literacy practicing. Um, and then, you know, making sure we're make, keeping moderators in mind. So attendance is going to be an issue, current access to resources, et cetera. And so going through this process, I just want to show you how this maps onto our evaluation and again, how we can connect to the impact website. So taking a look at this, it's like, okay, so you guys need to make an implementation checklist. We should be making sure to track referrals from community resources, um, but also kind of importantly there, like how we might be able to then tie back to the impact website is, okay, well, now that you have your outcomes, let's take a look. Okay, so maybe the best measures for this is gonna be the Healthy Families Parenting Inventory, PCI subscales. Um, and so really kind of saying, okay, we went through this process, we really identified what it is we're trying to measure. Okay, now we can really very precisely measure the impact that, or <laughs> precisely identify the measure that we're trying to use. So um, on the website, I just wanna make sure to show everyone uh, where you can access TA. Sorry, I hit share. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, so on the home page, of course, if you scroll to the bottom, there's the technical assistance consultation. If you hit that, you are going to get the application for our light touch services. So up to three hours, some demographic information, and then also specifically, what are you? What is it that you're hoping to get out of this um, engagement? Um, if you're like, I'm not really quite ready to just jump into three hours right away. Um, you can also feel free to reach out to us at Easy Prism at Oregon.edu. And then you can find that call out on every single page except the measures page. So the about us, the scoring, and the learn. 
Um, on the About Us page, you'll also find some additional information about technical assistance, uh, uh, an overview of kind of what I've been discussing today. And again, that button is down there. Um, so I, we have some time for some questions. Does anyone, is, does anyone have any questions about um, technical assistance and how it relates to the impact repository? 